How are you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I don't know. That's why I asked. Really? Yeah, that's why I asked you. You're not just making small talk? The way people do, you know? Instead of saying hi, they ask you how you're doing, and you're supposed to say fine, and how are you? Okay, but in this case, I actually wanted to know. So, how are you doing? Fine. Really? Of course not. Still playing games. Are you? I want to help you. Then help me. I can't if you don't open up. What do you want to know except how I'm doing? Last time you said you were about to quit your job. Did you? No. I see. What do you see? I see that you were going to quit your job and then you didn't quit. And what does that tell you? It doesn't tell me anything. It just raises a question. Which is? Two questions, actually. Why did you want to quit? That's one question. And why didn't you quit? That's another question. I didn't quit because I need the money. Simple, right? Maybe. I wanted to quit because I can't stand the place. What can't you stand? Everything. People I work with treat me like shit and the job is boring. It's like sorting papers and answering phones and taking stuff to people's offices. Not your thing. Not my thing. I get you don't like office work, but what about the people? What's going on? Like Mary. Mary Blake, her desk is next to mine. And? She looks at me funny. Funny? Yeah, like, always condescending. Why does that bother you? Wouldn't it bother you? Only if I cared what she thought about me. Well, do you care what she thinks about you? Sure, I care what everyone thinks about me. That's called being human. What do you think people think about you? Different people, different things. What do you think Mary thinks about you? That I'm a piece of shit. Why would you think that? Did you do anything to make her think that? Not that I know of. Has it always been this way? What, that she thinks that? That you think she thinks that. I guess. Right from day one? Yeah. Yeah, she took one look at me and my tattoos and she thought, look at that loser. How do you know that's what she thought? I don't know. I said, like the way she talks to me, condescending. And there are others who you don't like. All of them, they think I'm a loser. Are they right? What? Do you agree with them? Do I think I'm a loser? Do you? Maybe. Okay. So? So, you think you're a loser, and you're afraid they'll see you for the loser you think you really are. Run that by me again. What did you think I said? That I'm a loser and I'm afraid they'll find out? Good. Why good? Because you may be finding something out. What, that I'm a loser? I already knew that. Okay. Aren't you gonna tell me I'm not a loser? Isn't that your job? You want me to tell you you're not a loser? Sure. Okay. You're not a loser. You feel any different? No. So it doesn't matter what I say. Do you think I'm a loser? I don't think anyone's a loser. My opinion doesn't count. How can I change what I think about myself? Maybe you can't. You're not helping. 
how are you going to change your opinion? I don't know, by winning. What's winning going to tell you? That I'm not a loser. You don't see it, do you? What? That if you need to win so you can prove that you're not a loser, winning actually reinforces your opinion that you're a loser. What? Who but a person who thinks they're a loser would have to prove they're not by winning? We call that the boomerang effect. Maybe I could try affirmations. I heard someone on television talking about that. What affirmations would you make? I'm a winner. Try it out. You mean? Try it out. Say, I'm a winner over and over. I'm a winner. 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 Well? Maybe it takes time. If you think you're a loser, why would you try to convince yourself that you're a winner? Am I stuck? Only if you care what you think about yourself. I thought people couldn't make it unless they have a good opinion of themselves. Why do you think that? Because it's what everybody says. Low self-esteem leads to crime and drugs and addiction and bad relationships. Name me someone you admire. Someone I know? Someone from history. Someone who's famous. Amelia Earhart. Ever read a biography about her? No. I did. Yeah. She had low self-esteem. Mother Teresa. Low self-esteem. I don't get it. You want good things for yourself. Yeah. What does what you think about yourself have to do with it? I thought you had to love yourself or you sabotage yourself. Why would you do that? What kind of therapist are you? One who thinks things through. So you're saying it doesn't matter that I think I'm a loser? You want good things for yourself, no matter what you think about yourself, right? Right. So? So? So how are you? Okay. Okay. I have to think this through. Okay. Okay. Jesus. What? You're turning everything around. I thought therapy was supposed to help you Find out what happened in the past that's causing all your problems. Anything happened in your past? My father thought I was a loser. Did he think other things about you that you disagreed with? Yeah, plenty of things. He didn't really know me very well. The things that you disagreed with him about? Have you changed mine and now agree with him? I don't think so. What's one thing he got wrong about you? I didn't love him. Did you love him? Yeah. We didn't get along, but I loved him. And he thought you didn't. Right. So in that case, what he actually thought had no influence on your opinion. None. But because you think he thought you were a loser, that had influence. Yes. If you were influenced because of what your father thought about you, 
when she bought the whole party line. What are you saying? I'm asking you a question. How, how come I bought the loser thing and not the other things? That's the question. Because I agreed with the loser thing and, and not the other things. How can your opinion come from what your father may have thought, given you didn't take on the other things he thought? I wouldn't. So where'd I get the idea? Who knows? Does it matter where you got it from? Take it you're not a Freudian. Modern times, right? <laughs> How many years have you walked down memory lane with other therapists? Too many. Where'd it get you? At the time it seemed important, but seemed to have the same problems. What does that tell you? What about you? What do you think about yourself? We're not talking about me. Afraid to answer the question? It doesn't matter what I think about myself. Why not? Because it doesn't. Do you have an opinion about yourself? Many. Like? Like, like all over the map. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, all degrees in between. And it doesn't matter. I want good things for myself. I work for those good things to happen. If I succeed or fail, it's not going to change my opinion about myself. Why should it? You think you're a better person if you succeed and not as good if you fail? Yeah. Why? Why am I better if I succeed? Yeah. I don't know, it's just... You're the same person no matter how it goes, right? I suppose. So how are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? In what way? I'm the same person whether I feel like a million bucks or a piece of shit. At least according to you. Don't take my word for it. Think it through yourself. I guess. What do you have to think about yourself to want good things for yourself? I... Is it true you want good relationship, good career, good health, good friends? Yeah. Notice that whatever you think about yourself doesn't stop you from wanting those things. Yes. So that's it for today. That? You've got some things to think about. Okay. See you next week. <laughs>